All right, let's get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you have installed Palworld and have launched it at least once. The next thing you wanna go ahead and do is right click on Palworld over here on the left hand side. We're gonna go down into manage and browse local files. It should pop open this folder right here for you. This is the folder that we're going to need for installing our mods. And the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is open up your favorite web browser to this website right here. This is nexusmods.com slash Palworld and I will leave a link down in the description below. Uh, this is the website that you're going to find most of your Pal World mods on. It's also where most of them are going to be posted. You can go ahead and search them through Popular if you want to, or just find any mods that seem interesting to you. I really like this enhanced Pal World visual mod, so we're going to go ahead and start with that one first. I am going to show you guys a couple of different ways for installing these. Uh, not every mod is installed the same way. So make sure you pay attention to the end of the video so you know how to install all the different types of mods for this game. This very first one is easy. It's a pack mod, so it's going to go into your packs folder. It's going to go into this mods folder here. So I'm going to highlight this and actually copy it since I know that that folder doesn't exist. And it says go ahead and drag and drop it into there. So I'm going to download the file here. And obviously there's a few different options here. Just pick the one that fits best for you. I'm going to go with Epic Plus. And as soon as that finishes, go ahead and open that up here. If you have 7-Zip or WinRAR, it should open up just fine. Uh, make sure that you have one of those two programs there on your computer. And it should pop this little window open here. Now again, that's going to go into the mods folder. So we're going to open up PAL, go into content, and packs. Now if you remember in the instructions here, that's exactly where it said to go right here, content, packs, and then it wants this little mods folder here. Now that doesn't exist in this folder, so it does say if it doesn't exist, just make one. We're gonna right click there, create a new folder, and paste that name in there. Make sure it looks exactly the way that the developer tells you to have it, because that's very important for their own mods. We're gonna double click that, and just drag and drop that right here. And this mod should be perfectly installed with no other issues. We can actually launch the game now and we should be able to see the, the noticeable change when we launch the game. But I am going to go ahead and install one other type of mod. This is more of a script type mod instead of just changing visuals. Um, and this mod here is the map unlocker. So this is going to unlock all of the fog of war from the map for you. Um, again, we're gonna go ahead and read these instructions here. These are very important. The first thing it wants us to do here, or the second thing actually after we back up, is to download this UE4SS. Uh, this right here is very important when it comes to downloading these script type mods, which is why, again, it's very important to read the installation instructions. We're going to click on that. Should take us over to the GitHub website. I will also have this link down in the description below, but again, you don't need this unless the mod that you want calls for it but it's very easy. You're just gonna download this UE4SS X input. Just click on that and it should give you that download. Open it up here. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and go back to this site right here and read where this goes here. It says it goes in PAL, binaries, and Win64. So that is totally okay. We're gonna go into here. We're gonna go back into this PAL folder here so again, we have binaries content plugin. We're going to go into binaries and that Win64 folder. So we have PAL, binaries, Win64, and drag and drop. And this should be installed for you already. Now I am going to go ahead and launch the game at this point just to ensure that everything that we have installed so far is okay and we don't have any crashes. This is very important because you don't want a crash to happen somewhere along the way where then you have to go through and backtrack which files you added to the game that ended up screwing it up. So I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna jump into a world really quickly and just ensure that what we have installed works. And it looks like everything's working okay. We have those enhanced visuals installed, which is great so far. However, it did noticeably take an extra second or two for me to start the game. So keep in mind that's going to be very common when you guys are installing mods. The more mods you have, the more the game is going to slow down. So if your computer already has, you know, issues running this game uh, at full FPS or whatnot, just keep that in mind that adding mods to it is not going to help fix it. It's going to just bog it down more. It's only to increase your player experience. 
I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this since we just confirmed that Pal World does work with the mods, which is very awesome. We're going to go back to this map unlocker mod right here. And it just says right here to just after we get that REUE4SS installed, uh, we're going to go ahead and just download the mod here and install it and drag and drop it into that mods folder. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and open that up once that finishes here. And it's said to drag and drop it into the mods folder that's in the Win64 folder. So that's this folder right here. And you'll see there's already a few things in there, but that's okay because this download gave us a folder. So it looks like it's just going to fit right in there with the other ones. And for that, that should be all there is to it. Uh, those are the only two types of mods. Once you have that UE4SS installed, you only have to install it once. So any other mods in the future that require it when you're browsing through it, for example, like the uh, carry weight increase mod right here, it does require the installation. However, down here it has its own installation for this UE4SS, so make sure you follow those. Uh, and any other mods that you might want to add, whenever you click on them, just make sure that they're going into the right place. Uh, they will always have posted where these need to be uh, going, where they need to be drag and dropped every time when you download them. So make sure that you read those, those descriptions there and everything should be good. Uh, the very last thing that I do want to touch base, this is probably the most important thing, is this may not work for multiplayer. Uh, if you wanted to play modded with your friends, I always recommend to make sure that you guys have the same mods before you try it. They have to be the same exact mods, the same exact versions, so that there's no conflicts or anything like that. But I would recommend to just keep modded out of multiplayer for now. Do it only for single player and definitely don't ever, ever join an official server with mods installed as you don't want to get banned. But again, thank you all so much for watching and we just crashed. Now, this crash was a little bit unexpected, however, I am kind of happy that it happened because I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and fix this, and it's very simple. Uh, the simple fix for it is, well, we launched the game before we added the last mod, and then when we added the last mod, it crashed. So all we have to do is just remove that last mod. Now, if you're not sure why that last mod isn't working and you really, really want it, uh, you can continue to mess around with it uh, and try to get it to work. If you remember, that's in PAL, binaries, Win64, and mods. And if we delete this map unlocker mod here, the game should go ahead and start the way that it is. If you guys do receive crashing, that is absolutely normal. Um, it's only because mods are, again, very finicky to make. Uh, so some mods may not be compatible with others. Uh, however, when it comes to those script type mods, I would just recommend to be very careful with them. Every time you add one, launch the game, make sure it works. See if it works. If it doesn't, remove it. Should be good to go. But these pack mods here shouldn't have very many conflicts, so you shouldn't be receiving any crashing. And sure enough, while I looked around at the map unlocker mod here, I went over into post to see if anybody else has had the same issue with this particular mod. And you can see right here, uh, this member here says if your game crashes, try this following here. So go to the UE4SS settings.ini file. That's really easy to find. You just go into local files, go into where we installed that, which was in here, and we're looking for this settings file. We're going to edit it. You can edit it here with Notepad or with Notepad++, either way. Uh, Notepad++ is just a better version of Notepad. It's a free download, easy to find. And then in here it says set the GUI console enabled and the GUI console visible to zero. So we're gonna start with that. Now to find those places, I'm just going to search for GUI. GUI console is right there. He says to set it to enabled. I think one is enabled. That's zero. And B use U object array cache false. B use. Perfect. So this is set to true. We're gonna change this to false. And we're going to save. And if you remember, I deleted that out of the folder there. So we're going to go ahead and open up the recycle bin. Or you can also just reinstall uh, the mod there. We're going to restore that. 
and we're going to click play. Now that mod should have gone back to that mod folder here. We're just double checking to see if we have fixed this crash yet. Again, we just check the posts for that mod to see if any other person has had this issue before. Uh, we are also starting a new world, or sorry, starting a, an existing world. When you're adding mods to an existing world, sometimes that can cause issues, but it looks like we got straight into the game. So that crash seems to be fixed, which is really good. Uh, we're going to press M, and it looks like we have all of the fog unlocked here. So that did go ahead and fix that. Uh, big shout out to uh, W1NS right here for being able to apply that fix. Uh, generally, the mod author sometimes takes a look at this and will add this step here to the description below. But again, if you guys receive crashing, it is very easy to just either A, delete the mod, or B, go into posts here and see if anybody has ever had that issue before. Uh, trying to Google the issue may not get you very far, but checking these posts will. So oftentimes if you have an issue with one mod, other people have had an issue with that mod. So again, I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Reach out to me on the Discord if you guys need any help. Uh, all the links are down below in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video.